I guess I'm back. Hello everybody, welcome to the sixth episode of the Indie Game Development Log. In this one I'll be just showing you some minor changes that I made to the engine in the past, what, it's been like two months already or maybe a bit more. But yeah, the first major change has been the new character model. I have also disabled the lighting for it because there has been some minor bugs with the shadowing. From the video you probably already noticed that I've been experimenting with some squirt physics. For time being these are still not complete but I intend to make them also collidable with um, other body parts so when other animations are playing um, the skirt will deform according to positions of other limbs. So for example when running the skirt will rapidly move back and forth. Another thing you already probably noticed are the new placeholder animations uh, which are pretty terrible at this moment but I will have to rework them in the upcoming weeks. Now because the skirt physics are highly integrated into the physics engine the skirt will also collide with other objects in the scene. Now this isn't necessarily a good thing because when approaching walls the player's position might actually push the collision bodies of the skirt into some walls and in combination with springs used to simulate the actual skirt's movement, this might lead to some pretty weird behavior. Now, for those of you who are actually interested in how the skirt physics is implemented, if we leave the physics part out of it, which is in my case handled by the, my physics engine, then it's simply just fractals which use spring constraints between the collision bodies. And instead of just physically simulating all of the bodies, on the main character we just simulate the skirt and we update all of other bodies in accordance to the animation positions. Now I'm sure I've done many other things under the hood of the engine in the past two months but another thing I can show you are the new and improved reflections. The blending between the skybox and the scene's reflections in this example is not yet proper because of some engine limitations but I will be fixing this in the future as well once I'll be doing a full um, rendering pipeline rework. This will come much later in the game's development process but for now I'll just leave it as it is and continue working on the actual game. Now in my opinion the most noticeable improvement with the reflections uh, can be seen on the water surface and as in previous episodes this is just a placeholder water effect and I think it looks quite a bit better with the new reflections. But yeah this is gonna be pretty much it for this quick episode. Hopefully now that I can devote most of my time to game development I'll be uploading more frequently and also getting more work done with the actual game itself. Other than that that's pretty much it. If you like this video like it. And if you're interested in any other game development related videos I upload in the future, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!